My name is Sadia and this is the part 2 of feature options available in heat maps. In this video, let's understand what is the significance of observations in heat maps, the timeline feature. Let's also understand how to view heat map for URLs, the filter options available in heat maps. So firstly, let's take a look at the observations. If you find something to be interesting on the website, you can make a note of it with the help of observations. Not just that, it may also help you identify some potential issues. Now, observations can be created directly from the heat maps report. So we'll take a look at how to create observations within heat maps in understanding the heat map reports video. Moving forward, you have the timeline feature. Now, once a view is created, you can track all the activities corresponding to it in the timeline tab. Now, this tab displays information like when was the heat map created or when was the view started or when was the data collection paused or if any observations were added and so on. Moving forward, let's take a look at how to view heat maps for a URL. Now, if you want to view the heat maps for a single page, then you can just copy the URL of the site and paste it in the URLs field and click on view heat maps. Not just that, you can also view a consolidated report of heat maps running on multiple pages on your website. In order to do that, you can just switch from simple to advanced mode. And here you can create a URL pattern that matches multiple pages of your website by substituting the variable parts of the URL with the wildcard or an asterisk. For example, let's say I want to view the heat map for all of my product pages. All you have to do is copy the common part for all of your product pages. And then you can paste it in the URLs field and add an asterisk at the end. Now, once you click on view heat maps, you will be able to see a consolidated report of heat map for multiple pages at once. Moving forward, you can choose the segmentation options to view your heat map reports for a specific visitors group. You can generate the heat maps based on the data collected from specific visitors segments. You can create a custom segments using different conditions such as geographical location or a device type or any other user's behavior. To know more about segmentation, please take a look at the video of what is segmentation. Please note that by default, targeting is disabled and all the website visitors are tracked in the heat map reports. Moving forward, you can even filter out the data for a specific date range. All you have to do is select the date range option, choose the date range for which you want to view the reports and filter the heat maps accordingly. You can view the reports for the last 30 days period, last seven days, yesterday or today. Moving forward, you have the option to enable navigation. Once you select the enable navigation mode, then you can access different pages on your website. Please note that the data which is collected for heat maps is a sample data, which means VW tracks a subset of visitors from a larger group to become a part of your heat maps. In order to learn more about sampling, please take a look at the video of what is sampling. Thank you for watching.